Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called God, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect scattered through the four winds of the world and the IQM out there pushing this word and prophesying in this truth. To so you, I say shalom. Mm -hmm. Okay, the title of this lesson is going to be, you're not a man until you come into the truth. Okay, and, you know, it, it's some emotional jakes out there that may get, you know, get emotional off the, off the title. But at the end of the day, you're really not a man until you come to the truth. All right, you think you're a man because, you know, you, you, you um you know yes we're all men if, if you're a man you have a, a you know you're a male you have male and female okay but you're not a real man until you come to the truth because what makes a man okay integrity knowledge wisdom responsibility okay those are all the things that make up a man uh, uh you know but if you don't have those things in righteousness you're really not a man because in this world according to this world According to Esau society, you're a man when you turn 18. But according to the Bible, the scriptures, you become a man when you become to be judged by the law when you're when you're at the age of 12. OK, and a lot of people out there. All right. That, that they're emotional and they can't accept that. They can't accept the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Therefore, the most I just sees them as they the most I doesn't see them as men. The most I see them as as side as children or right? sees them as, as as a child. OK, because. They don't have the, the knowledge and wisdom of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father didn't give them that. Okay. They wasn't in endowed with they weren't endowed with the spirit of truth. Okay. And until you become until you get that spirit of truth, you're really not a man. You're just a, a child running around pretending. All right. Acting like, you know, you 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 um you got it all figured out. But at the end of the day, you don't. All right. And I'm, you know, I came into the truth when I was thirty something years old. All right. So all that time before that, I wasn't a man thinking I was you know, I, I had everything figured out. You know, I, I knew what to do. And, you know, uh, no, I, I didn't have a clue. I didn't have a clue of the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Hashem I didn't have a clue of who I was as, as, as uh, who, who my, my true nationality was. Okay. But when you come into that truth, the most high opens up your eyes, then you become a man. All right. And a lot of our, a lot of our people, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the scattered Israelites throughout the heathen nations, a lot of them won't come to that, 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 uh, that realization, okay? They think that you know they could do it on their own. They don't need, uh, uh, they don't need to be taught by man. A lot of them think that. All right, though, I could figure it out my on my own. Just give me the Bible. I read the Bible. I read the Bible before. I know what it says. And at the end of the day, they read the Bible, but they don't read. Okay, so let me hop right into the scriptures, um, because it's like a lot of things that when you come into the truth, you you begin to learn is things that we should have been, we should have, we should have been taught when we were children okay how to be responsible how not to be emotional and i had to make how to uh, uh not uh, uh uh how to make decisions how to make you know you use wisdom when we make decisions not to be emotional okay those are things that we should have been taught all right but you know um a lot of our you know a lot of us we didn't grow up in the truth the majority of us didn't grow up in the truth where we had fathers or uncles or, or brothers that were in the truth that were able to guide us and teach us all right, that's why the scripture says, um, Proverbs 20, 22 and 6, it says, train up a child in the way he should go. And the way that the child should go is in the, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And when he is old, he will not depart from him. When he becomes a man, he will not depart, no, be, depart from him because that knowledge and wisdom has been in, in, uh, instilled in him at, at, as a, um, at a young age. Okay, but if he doesn't have that knowledge and wisdom, He's going around pretending, thinking, you know, he's a grown up now. You know, Jake thinking they 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 doing things now because they 18 or they turn 21. OK, but at the end of the day, they could turn 50. They still don't got if they don't got this truth. They really not a man. All right. Because when you come into this truth, you got to put or oh, you put you come to the realization that you was going off your whole life, that you didn't know it all, that you didn't know shit, really. OK, let me um grab this. This is. um. Actually, First Corinthians, um, chapter thirteen, in verse eleven, it says, "When I was a child, I spake as a child; I understood as a child; I thought as a child." This is the Apostle Paul talking. Okay, 
And, and he said, when he was a, when he was a child, I spake as a child. When he before he came into the knowledge and wisdom of the truth, or before he yes, he knew he was an Israelite, but he was a Pharisee, okay, and he persecuted the church, okay. But the heavenly father, excuse me, uh, Yahweh Shai had to open up his eyes to the truth, and he became and he and all the time before that he was persecuting persecuting the church. He spoke as a child. He did, he did childish things. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Okay, he quit persecuting the church. He, the, the Most High, um, opened his eyes, gave him the spirit of truth, and 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 he began to um, and, and began to teach the, well, began to teach the truth, began to um, prophesy and um, um, and, and was you know um, they was sent to the Gentiles to wake up the Gentiles. Okay, but the Most High is not dealing with with with, with children. The Most High is not dealing with immature ass niggas. All right, immature. Uh, 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 people, you know, Jakes, they think they, you know, they, they think they know it all, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's men that's getting on those ships, okay? The, the, uh, it's men that have that knowledge and wisdom and have that eye salve that have the spirit of the truth, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, that's getting on those chariots that's be getting redeemed up out of here, okay? Not no know it all, uh, um, niggas that think they, 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 they went through some shit in the world and they think they know it all. Or they they didn't read the book they read read the Bible and read the Quran and they think think they they think they uh they got every, they got life and everything figured out all right let me grab this this is the book of Ephesians chapter four and um verse twenty two put ye off concerning the former conversation the old man and that old man was that was that was that that Jake that you know thought they knew everything okay that that thought they had life figured out. Okay, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. All right, and, and we're still corrupt in these fleshly bodies, but the the uh, the hopeful elect that has come up out of that sleep are 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 trying to um are re are trying to repent, are turning away from uh the once the wicked life we uh, once lived. Okay, um and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, the spirit of your mind, and your the mind is your heart, and your heart is your mind. They're synonymous with each other. Okay, be renewed. In the spirit of your mind, so you're not doing those old things as a, as the old men that you once were in the in the world. All right, you you became a man. You basically the Most High has given you wisdom. He breathed that uh, breath of life into you, so you became a new man and a, a new creature in um, Yahweh Shai. Verse twenty four, that ye put that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. All right, you become a new man. Okay. All right, you you put away the childish shit. You put away the immature things you once did in the world. You uh put away getting emotional um and and, and, and um you know uh, uh making haste in, in time of trouble like the scriptures say. Okay, uh, uh um acting um acting out um what is it called uh, uh what is it called um damn what's the term um. Acting, acting impulsively, all right. When when shit don't go your way, just you know bugging out like a child or something. Or you put away that, all right. You you the heavenly fathers will open your eyes and you're able to use wisdom. You're able to see things for what they are. You're able to see the wicked for who they are. You're able to see the um the the uh two thirds of our people for the wickedness that they are and and how and and how you used to be in that same state of mind when the heavenly father opens up your eyes. When the heavenly father, you know uh, um um. Uh, when you come into the truth and you become a real man, okay? Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking, excuse speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one one of another, okay? And and, and that, that's talking about um, charity, okay? Not having that evil eye towards your brother, okay? That That's that's a part of becoming a man, okay? And, and, and in the world, man, Jake was, excuse me, Jake was always, you know, Mm. Uh, uh, in a one way or another, envious of their brother. All right, they were. Uh, Jake was always looking at the Northern Kingdom sideways, and Northern Kingdom, Northern Kingdom, looking at the Southern Kingdom sideways, and, and you know, it was just, it was just always tension. But when you come into the realization that you're Israelite, all right, those are your brothers. Okay, the uh, uh, the the you know the the Heavenly Father um, and His Son, um, you know, um, look like us. Okay, you 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 put all that shit away. Okay. You, you you repent and you realize that, you know, yeah, I was going off, okay? And, and that's what the Heavenly Father's looking for. The Heavenly Father's not looking for no proud-ass niggas. He's looking for the meek and, and the humble, all right? Let me grab this. Um, 
the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse uh, 1. If ye be risen in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand. Set your affections on set your affections on the things above, not on things on earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in in the Most High. When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify there your members which are upon earth. For, fornication, okay, uh, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate, inordinate affection, evil concupiousness, covetousness, evil, excuse me, evil con, con, concupiscence and covetousness which is idolatry all right and, and those are things that you know um you, you put away when you came into the truth okay for which for which things so like it, for which things sake the wrath of the most high is cometh on the children of disobedience in which he in which ye also walked sometimes when ye lived in them all right some of us walked in those things when we lived in them Okay, uh, 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 eating abominable foods, uh, uh, committing adultery, okay, uh, not keeping the holy days, uh, celebrating these wicked holidays, worshiping idols, all those things that uh, uh, Jake was once in when they, when they weren't in the, um, it, when they weren't in the truth, okay, when they were uh, um, considered, when, when the most, when they were considered children to the most high, all right, verse seven, in which ye also walked in some times when ye lived, lived in them, but now ye are, now ye also put off all these Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not to one another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. You got to put off that old man, okay? When you come into this truth, you can't bring that nigga shit that 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 things you used to do in the, in the world into the truth, because the Most High is is is, is gonna he's go, if you try to bring that in the truth, you're gonna be found out, okay? And, and you're gonna fall out, and you're gonna bug out even more. You're gonna be a bigger bug out than you were in the world. Okay, that's why you got to put off all that stuff. Okay, when you come into the knowledge and wisdom of the truth. Okay, um, verse ten, and have and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Okay, you put on that new man. You become a new man. You become a new creature in your Yahweh Shem All right. Let me grab this. Uh, First Corinthians. No, excuse me. Second Corinthians, chapter uh, five. In verse 17, therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You become a new creature in the heavenly father. You become a man. Okay. And, and you know, it, it's, I had to be taught by men that was younger than me, but I was able to humble down and accept that. Like, yo, I don't know everything. I got to be taught. I got everything that I knew in the world, everything I knew about, I thought I knew about the Bible and, and history. I got to throw that out. All right, a lot of people aren't willing to do that because our people are, as the scriptures say, our people are stiff-necked people. They're hard heads, so they they have that mentality that they, they think they're right no matter what. And and if someone's teaching them, it gotta be it, it gotta be Esau with credentials and, and 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 all kind of degrees and shit. All right, no. All right, the spirit is what what really ultimately teaches you. Okay, and and but the spirit has to be on men to teach you, and the spirit has to be on you to uh, understand. OK, to uh, to humble down. All right. Because if you still got demons on you in the world, you're not going to humble down and you're not going to be able to be taught. You may learn a little, but at the end of the day, you want to have 100 percent truth. You want to have 100 percent spirit of your high shot to ultimately receive salvation. OK, verse um, 18. And in all things are of the most high who have reconciled us to himself by your high and have given us the ministry of reconciliation. OK. And, and that's the Heavenly Father um, bringing us back. You know, uh, we're being brought back to the Heavenly Father, married unto him, okay, through, uh, um, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai, which is the mediator now, okay? We got, we got to, you know, we're dealing with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to reconciliate us, uh, re yeah, reconcile us back to um, the Most High. All right, a few more scripts. Let me see. You know, Jake may see the title of this lesson and, and, and you know, bug out. But, uh, oh, well, man, if, if you if you get emotional off the title, you know, obviously this truth ain't for you. Um, 
It's the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the whole, let us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. All right. Hey, Jake, you know, and Jake in the world, they want to jump to, they want to jump to conclusions when they ain't heard the whole, the whole matter. All right. They hear one thing, they get emotional. All right. And want to fight and want to uh, uh, talk shit. All right. And, 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 and get carnal. All right. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's what men do. Men sit down and men, if they have, if they have a counsel, they hear the whole conclusion. They hear both sides of the story and then uh, bring forth a, a, a judgment. OK, uh, uh, whatever the judgment may be, that's what the most high is looking for. Men that's going to be able to judge. All right. He wants men that's not going to be able to judge according to the scriptures, not according to their own heart, not according to what they feel in the world. We, we when we preach this Bible, when we when we prophesy the scriptures, we say what the scriptures say. We're not emotional. OK, we hey, the scripture says it. Hey, we got to deal with it. All right. Two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Hey, that's what the scripture says. That's what's going to happen. All right. If we got family members as two thirds, yes, if they don't repent, they're going to be destroyed. All right. But a real man is going to tell you that a real man is going to um, um, break these things down and not be emotional and tell you you have options. All right. You know, option number one, repent or return back to the heavenly father. All right. Call on his name, call on his sons, uh, call on the heavenly father and his son's name. OK. Or don't do it and be destroyed All right? and, and be killed out here in a famine, pestilence, a uh, world war, a uh, thermonuclear fire. OK, that's the truth. But hey, a lot of our people, they're, they're not mentally. Yeah, they're, they're, they they may appear as men, but mentally they're not there. They're not there. They're not mentally there as a as, as a as a real man. All right. Verse. Let me read this verse again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right. If you come. If you want to be a man, you got to fear the heavenly father. OK. And keep his commandments. All right. Keep his law, statutes, and commandments that he gave us. All right. Keep them to your. We can only keep them to the best of our ability here. All right. But our people don't want to do that. They think they got it figured out. It says fear the most high. All right. The scriptures say in Proverbs 1, uh, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the heavenly father. All right. And it clearly our people don't have wisdom. OK. The scripture, the, the most High called them silent children. All right. Because they have forsaken. Um, What is it? Um, I don't want to. Hosea 4 and. uh. For my people destroyed from lack of knowledge, four and six, because they have rejected knowledge, I also will reject thee. For thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High, I also will forget thy children. See, thou shalt be no priest to me. Okay? So, if you want to, if, 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 you, if you consider yourself a real man, you got to come into the truth. And you, and, and, and the Most High actually has to choose you to come into the truth. You know, you can't choose that. It's ain't Christianity where you, you, you accept Jesus Christ in your life to, to, you know, this day. No, it don't work like that. The most high got to choose you. The most high has to open up your eyes. And if not, you just, you know, he don't want you at the end of the day. And a lot of Jake's out there, they emotional and they, they won't, they can't accept that realization. All right. That, that if they can't get it, you know, it ain't, it, you know, if they can't get him, the most high not dealing with them. That's the truth. Okay. And you know, so, um, you know, Lord willing, this this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.